Okay, so a few of the top things to do on Folly Beach. Number one, max and relax and soak up that vitamin C. <laughs> Bring some beach gear, bachelorette party favors, and some fun beach games to stir up a little friendly competition among the bride squad. And be sure to load up a cooler with some champagne and some tasty snacks so that you can have your final toast on the coast. Number two, get wet. Not just the sweaty kind, although I'm sure that will definitely be happening. Take a dip in the ocean or the Folly River. like all the way not that halfway bullshit beach please number three tour and explore the whole island cover some ground you can easily cruise the entire coast if you get your roll on rent a golf cart hop on a bike or a skateboard or my personal favorite strap on some rollerblades and cruise <laughs> you can check out the surf at the washout on your way to the morris island lighthouse Walk down the pier and take a selfie with the best resting beach face you can muster. Number four on the list is get your drink on at Blue. Part of the Tides Hotel and right next to the Folly Beach Pier is Blue Restaurant and Bar. It is actually one of the only oceanfront bars in all of Charleston and definitely also obviously on Folly Beach. <laughs> And there you'll find cocktails, music, and flocks of fellow beachgoers and aquaholics eager to flamingo and help you celebrate your last fling before the ring. <laughs> After that, be sure to cruise down Center Street on a self-guided bar crawl. Cheers, beaches. Number five, go on a booze cruise. Overcrowded public beaches are for the birds. If you beach and babes start feeling bougie, grab your squad and hop on a boat for a booze cruise through the intercoastal waterways. Get ship-faced for the bride-to-be's last sail before the veil. And number six on the list is find an epic sunset post-up spot. Obviously, the beach is always a good choice, but if you want the best sunset views, you're gonna need to face west. So, best case scenario, you Cruise on over to the Folly River and grab a kayak or a paddleboard and just cruise down the river and watch that beautiful sunset. All right, y'all, we just went over a few of the top things to do on Folly Beach for your bachelor or bachelorette bash. Um, I will go over them one more time real quick. Number one, max and relax at the beach and soak in that vitamin C. Hopefully you had a big night and you can't really do a whole lot more than that, but the beach is the best hangover cure. You will find that out yourself. Um, number two, get wet. Take a dip in the ocean, wash off last night, get baptized, <laughs> get the day started. Number three, tour and explore the whole island. So you can cruise around many different ways, get you some wheels, some rollerblades, some golf carts, little scooters. It's not a big island, so you can really cover some ground. Number four, get your drink on at Blue, our, I guess, one of our only oceanfront bars. I guess there's a bar at the pier, but Blue is a lot more exciting. <laughs> uh, number five, go on a booze cruise, charter a boat. There's a lot of great boat companies here in Charleston. Um, in 2020, there's a, a lot of my friends are getting really awesome big boats that fit up to 20 people, so you should definitely look into that. Flipper finders, uh, Folly Beach boat tours, hook fin charters, just to name a few. So definitely check them out. I will leave some links to them um, down below in the description. And let's see, number six is find an epic sunset post-up spot, duh. You can't go to the beach and then leave before the sun sets. And fortunately in the summertime, sunset does, doesn't happen to like 9 p.m. So you don't even need to get to the beach until like four or five. I try to tell people that, very crucial. Don't go to the beach too early. You'll just get exhausted, it's too hot. You have plenty of time to sleep in, go get a nice big brunch. Take your time gathering all your belongings. You wanna make sure you have all the things you need. If you're a gypsy diva like you, that's a lot of things. But don't even have, you don't have to be in a big rush to get to the beach before like three, four o'clock because it's literally miserably hot. You won't have a good time. It'll suck up all your energy. You can do all the things and go to the beach, be your icing on top. So do that 
and um, have a freaking blast.